If you expected JT Barrett to come in as a first year starter at Ohio State and be this good, you're either a liar or a time traveler. And if you're a time traveler, please go back in time to Saturday and unbreak his ankle. With JT Barrett out for the season, it's time to ask, where does Ohio State go from here? Step one, get Cardale Jones ready to play. Now, the advantage he's got is that he's a big guy, 6'5", about 250 pounds, and you're gonna hear a lot about his strong arm. So he's got all the physical tools. Now, it's time to put him in place on the field. Number two, next week's Big Ten Championship game against Melvin Gordon and the two lost Wisconsin Badgers. Ohio State's run defense has been kinda shaky down the stretch, and Wisconsin secretly got top five, top 10 defense. It's not exactly the ideal situation for Cardale Jones to be starting his first game. And number three, if they get past Wisconsin, Ohio State still has to convince the playoff committee, A, that they're not the same team that lost to Virginia Tech at home, and B, that JT Barrett's injury isn't a reason to leave them out of the top four. Is that gonna be enough? Who knows? It's the first year the playoff committee's doing this whole thing, so we don't have a lot of precedent to go on. It's definitely a tough road ahead, but Ohio State's already shown they can bounce back from one season-ending quarterback injury. Can they do it twice in a year? Let's find out.